Worm is so bad. Don't pick Worm. Um. Uh, Jord's mad. I said I was gonna win, and then I just lost embarrassingly. Great. Frigid pants. I got you. Very frigid pants. Nice. Alright. These pants are chill, just like me. I'm a chill streamer. Welcome back to another Jordice chill edition. Today we will be winning by being chill. We're not going to be over the top. We're not going to be over dramatic. In fact, we're just going to be nice, relaxed, and win the game. Hi, everybody. I'm chill Jordice. Jordice. Dot, wait. Twitch.tv slash Jordice. There we go. Forgot my own website address, but that's okay. We're not going to dwell on it because we're just so darn chill. Here we are looking for a pretty solid strategy of literally anything. This, these are not good offerings. I'm actually just completely fine re-rolling here. Welcome back to another distracted Geordi stream. Hey, this is not another distracted Geordi stream. I only had 10 seconds of messages to reply to and I've done that. And now we are going for the classic, which is taking a lot of crickets and then realizing I should have put them earlier and I'm going to lose. Unfortunate. Yes, I just can't beat this level of stats. Although I will get close. The frigid pants. Why are my balls? Oh, <laughs> never mind. We're going all the way. Indeed we are. We are going all the way here. Remember, there's no such thing as a loss. Just pre-victory. Speaking of pre-victory, I, uh, I will grab a shrimp here so I can buy a snail and then sell it and give health to my other units. It's called being a genius. Look it up. Um, I don't really want another cricket. Hey, another fish. That's very adorable. Nice. So we'll just go like this, I think. I'm happy with that. Let's carry on from here. Now, we're going to try and level the fish, but what we want to do is we want to get another good unit in our team beforehand, if that's possible. Uh, this ant can go to hell. How the hell is... Ah, this is what I mean about the hatching check. If you get that early hatching check, they just got so much momentum there. There's not a chance in hell I could have beaten it, unfortunately. Not a chance. You'd need a ridiculous team to get through that. Cool. So, we want to give a little bit of stats to that one. Um, now, I could buy sell for some shrimp health, and you know what? I think I might. Uh, I unfortunately, didn't quite hit where I wanted there. So, I can go like that, and then I will level the fish now. Caterpillar. Early caterpillar is kind of pog, I will say. And then we put meat bone on swan for another high value unit. Okay. I don't mind this at all. But this is interesting. And you can tell we have a lovely accompanying piece of music. We have the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 1 to 3 Court Suite from the Jakuten Saiban Orchestra concert in 2019. I am a gold announcer. I'm a very gold announcer. Chill Jord is always here, relaxed and ready to provide you with top quality entertainment. So now we're wondering whether or not we want to keep this fish. A 5-6 fish is an okay stat line for the next turn, but after that is going to see diminishing results very, very quickly. Now there's also an argument to get rid of this shrimp, because we haven't seen a unit to buy and sell, and even the swan is potentially not great value. However, we have invested ourselves uh, by putting a meat bone on it. Now, I think I do want to re-roll here. A sheep can often be good value, as it is essentially a 6-6 six, six unit, unless going up against garlic. However, here, Andromedary can also give value, but it's a little late for that. I think I want to re-roll. We've found another fish. So this means we could level up and try and find the vaunted level 3 fish. And you know what? I'm here for it. This fish is a friend of mine. Uh, and I'll even give garlic to the fish, and hopefully we can use that to sweep a little bit better. There's the cat. I'm not going to go for a tabby cat here because it turns out tabby cat is an absolute hot piece of shit. And I do not want to play it because I would like to get a win here. And we can look and try and master a different unit. So we haven't done that much this turn. However, we did give uh, fish a better defensive stat line, which might be able to get us through. Just finding out the SAP Android update might it should be out very soon. That is fantastic to hear. Hello, Becky. This is the good-looking uh, 
personality, in case you were wondering. There we go. So the garlic armor actually got us an extra hit there, leading to a very clear and easy win. However, this is short-term investment, and you don't necessarily want to invest short-term. Okay, we just got an early worm. I'm going to throw everything and just take it again. <laughs> Do I need worm? I don't think... Well, the reason to take worm would be... It would basically be a perfect target for this caterpillar. And then we would have a gigantic... We'd have two gigantic units and we would... Uh, we'd finish the, uh, the game rather easily. Sure. I'm just trolling at this point. Don't do this at home. We've got ourselves another fish. Always a lovely uh, target for a level there. Um... There's really no point in me investing in it now. We are just looking for a uh, another fish, and we did find the last fish. This is great. Hopefully this just gives us an, an incredible player. Folks, ladies, gentlemen, non-binary, regardless of what your gender is, today you've just seen an incredible player pull off a phenomenal move by getting themselves yet another early worm. The only way you can make early worm playable. You can call him the early bird, because he just got the worm. And you can also call him the early birdie to go in with this golf announcer uh, trend that we're doing here on this particular stream. Nice. So this is fantastic. We get two kills here. Uh, the garlic and the attack from the fish has shown a phenomenal value here. And then, yeah, this, uh, this is a very, very nice win there. So I've got the worm pushing a level up, which you love to see. Nice. Now, I am wondering whether or not I, uh, I give value to the swan. Instead, nope. I believe I just prioritize getting that worm. We got the worm. The early bird is here. Uh, and now I am wondering if I should give it a honey pot or not. I think I just want to reroll and find better options. And we've got a pair for next turn, so the worm can start growing bigger and bigger. We still have seven lives, so that puts us in a decent position. I'm what they call a happy camper. We are camping happily today, chat. Very happily. Nice. And here we've avoided uh, being weak for unit. Oh, the garlic armor was great. Actually, you know what? This, this blowfish can respectfully suck my dick. Fortunately, we still win. There we go. So the momentum is great. And now we start making this worm huge. We've survived to this point. And I can start doing things like this. Making it a 10-10. Fantastic. Rerolling. Um, do I take another worm level here? I believe I'm in a position to do such a thing. And then I can even just go for an apple here. Make it a 14-14. And now the worm is officially not an apple, but the apple of my eye. This is how a good player does it. Just getting levels out the wazoo. He can't be stopped. Alright, he just can't be. Now, we find ourselves standing up to really... Oh no, we're very screwed here. Uh, very, very screwed. Not much a boy can do about this one. Unfortunately, they're early eagle. This is what it looks like when uh, you come up against an actual team that's half decent. So now we have four lives left, fortunately, so I can play a little bit like this. We can go further aggressively into this. So now we have a 19-19, but we actually have two. I know, you're shocked, but don't be. Uh, now I'm gonna reroll again. It is tempting to uh, take something else there, but I won't. Now, what we can do, I believe, is pretty effectively sell out a fish at this point. We don't need the fish. We can move the cricket to the back. Um, and then I do think I can even maybe take a garlic here just for stats. So I will sell uh, this fish here. I will grab an eagle. Eagle! And put garlic on the worm. Give it a little bit of extra stats. And then hopefully we get nice value from said eagle here. Perfect. Great. Darn. Unfortunately a blowfish. Our worst enemy. But we've got two 21-21s here. So let's see what we can do. And uh, yes, the blowfish has absolutely savaged us. Just annihilated us. 
but having a secondary stat machine makes it all worthwhile and this is where the synergy pays off oh fantastic look feeding chocolate to a worm is the best thing you can do for your pet worm not only will it level up it will also get plus three plus three and plus one plus one from the experience making it 25 25 beautiful and sauropod is exactly the kind of value we were looking here it's like a swan only much much better thank you there sauropod and now we can just re-roll and frankly get whatever the heck we like there we go worm getting nice and big and we can even just sushi here we didn't end up giving stats to the worm but that's okay re-roll again find more chocolate and now we can start leveling our other units phenomenal what a phenomenal display of wormery here at the scary woods golf course nice and now we just get value value more value and that is a worm that isn't quite as cracked as mine nice so we just want to max out our worm now as best we can i uh i do already have a sauropod achievement so there's no real uh, reason for me to go too hard on it uh cow is shockingly good with uh with uh sauropod and worm here so i'm not uh particularly upset about that at all we will give chocolate to the sauropod i will sell this cricket grab a cow and then let's just watch as our worm gets much bigger and bigger still we also got a little bit of extra money from sauropod because it actually still counts as us buying food even if the food was free wonderful there we go nice and sauropods triggers reset because we just leveled it up so we can actually buy more items such as a mushroom for our lovely eagle great so literally all we're doing here is just win win winning uh, now is there anything here that i would like to achieve now that we're in such good high spirits um i already have all of these units mastered going for t-rex here could be a reasonable play i think any person would say that's a reasonable play um but i don't know if it's necessary i think i'll just re-roll again um and finding an eagle level is a uh, a really nice strategy that i'm definitely on board with i will move the worm to the front actually just so i actually do get both of my units there and we've re-rolled again and really found nothing of note i will hold on to melon armor for next turn for the worm though and this this is us absolutely hitting it out of the uh the ballpark uh here at the golf stadium have i won an eagle round i have indeed won an eagle round in fact i did it in the last few days i believe nice there we go and we actually get double eagle there this is a very scary dog actually losing this round putting us in a precarious position i perhaps thought my uh my position was a little more stable than it was and now suddenly i'm freaking out being put at uh game point there we go the worm is very close to uh to leveling here which is always good to see uh we have one more trigger of food for this turn and i'll do it here do i want to snail i think it's just too late for me to snail here there we go so we have nearly maxed out our worm and i'll just re-roll here try and find another unit unfortunately didn't find another unit but we did find a melon armor um now technically i have not i have one with lobster i do not recall that in fact it surprises the hell out of me because lobster is not that great of a unit so i'll just continue to re-roll nothing here of interest uh well if it comes down to it maybe we can try and uh level a mammoth then i'd also love to stop doing this voice uh because i get too excited and i forget to say things unfortunately 32 31 is an awkward uh health break point meaning we couldn't just kill it in an extra shot there we do get uh two units for the price of one but it just isn't enough fortunately the stake we purchased really really made sauropod much more usable as a unit so let's go buying some food and getting some money back on our investment so i'll buy chocolate for the mammoth and then i will 
by... Hmm... I suppose I'll just buy a melon armor then. Kind of an unnecessary purchase, but I'll do it nonetheless. We've leveled up our mammoth, and we've leveled up our eagle. Uh, and now we can just sit back and enjoy the, uh, the fruits of our labor. Yes, in fact, we got the vaunted cracked worm run. We did get it, Sneaky. We leveled the worm so fast, and it got to level 3 not long after that. Don't forget the caterpillar copying the 4950 worm, which is now a 5050 worm. Snap. Pow. Bam. Right to the moon. Got it. There we are. Alright. So we are basically just aggressively looking for mammoth levels at this point. We don't really need anything else. Just mammoth levels. Just mammoth, 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 mammoth. Boo. Absolutely boo. I am outraged and disappointed. In fact, I should probably go for extra life on the mammoth. I'm also terrified of my caterpillar being sniped, but it is yet to be a problem. Excellent. Getting two uh, octopuses there was very useful. We've drawn. Now, drawing is very good because it actually gives us a longer amount of time to find a mammoth level here. Now, I will do this to give my other units more stats. And we've got the mammoth level, folks. The incredible mammoth level is on our side. We are now giving all our friends plus six plus six when it passes on. So now we can just look at leveling our sauropod and not losing. All right, here we go. If we win right now, we feel great though. A draw, just as good. Actually, it's a lot worse. Uh, dramatically worse. I really do not want to get a draw. I just want to win. I, I could not want to win more than this. Uh, I'm, I'm rather nervous now. Unless this eagle can pull me something nice. Uh, we're fine, folks. We're fine. And that is how you go early worm. But somehow, also, Master Mammoth. Because the game just randomly offers it to you. So you're like, okay, I guess I'll take it. And there we are. Done. Thank you from uh, all of us here at uh, twitch.tv slash Jordi's Golf and Baseball Stadium. I wish you a good night.